What up everybody, it's Mark Brajack here coming to you with another video. And in this video, you're probably wondering, what is Mark doing in a money suit? And I just got home from a little Halloween get together from my church. And it's the last time that for a month that, last time for a month? In one month, I'll be seeing those friends again. Let's put it like that. Some good friends just got together played some board games and yeah it's the day after Halloween happy Halloween everybody um I had a thought I had a thought tonight I went to go visit a friend Paul and Stephanie Muzzin thank you guys so much for your donation to my trip which is this awesome camel pack you never seen a camel pack like this before you can't really see it because of how dark it is in here and stuff. Anyways, this awesome camel pack, check that out. It's pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I had a, a thought tonight when I was going to visit them and it was this. What if instead of us going trick or treating and getting candy, what if we had gone door to door and started giving candy? Like we just, we go with like a box of goodies or whatever and we knock on their door and we say trick or treat and we give away candy. How revolutionary, how awesome would that be if Halloween was like that? Because I don't know about you, where you come from, but honestly, I think Halloween is kind of dying. I mean, I guess it would depend on like which part of the world or which part of the town or the city or whatever that like you're from. But in my neighborhood, it seems like Halloween is almost like non-existent. So maybe that would be a good, a good idea for next year. Anyways, I wanted to talk a little bit in this video about my trip that's coming up. And tonight is Wednesday, October. No, Wednesday, November 1st. That's right, November 1st. And on Friday night after work, I'm going to be on a plane to Vancouver and then from Vancouver I'm gonna be flying to Sydney Australia to do another backpacking adventure which I'm super stoked about tonight after work I went to go see my buddy Kyle who I'll be traveling with and uh, just to say goodbye and to say I'll see you in Sydney brother and just to kind of help him out with like some packing and stuff because this is like the first time that he's pretty much ever been traveling and yeah I'm really excited for him and I'm really excited for this trip and like what God's going to do on this trip for us. So yeah, that's something that we're both really looking forward to. I think this shadow is kind of like starting to bother me. So I'm just going to tilt my hat back a little bit. Anyways, um, I think my hat's going to fall off soon. So yeah, how am I feeling about this trip? I think that's the question that I want to answer today. And I'm feeling kind of like this, like I'm feeling pretty stoked about it. But at the same time, I'm, I, I started feeling a little bit nauseous about it today, which was kind of weird because whenever I get nervous, I try to take that energy, that nervous energy, and I try to turn it into excitement. And I even asked Kyle today when I when I went to his house after work and I said, Kyle, how you feeling? And he's like, honestly, I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. And I was like, really? Because like in this moment and in this moment only, I'm feeling a little bit nauseous myself too. I don't really know what to expect. We don't have a host yet and we are still actively looking for a host. At the same time, however, um, we have also had the discussion that, you know what, because he's going to be there a day before me and I'm arriving obviously a day after, after he lands, we're, we're not going to have the same host our first nights in, in Australia. So, or potentially I should say. So we might just end up going to like rent, like get like an Airbnb for a night or two. Um, we've also discussed having like getting like a hostel. But one thing that we are pretty adamant about is going to visit the original Hillsong Church, which for those of you who don't know, Hillsong is a huge Christian band. Um, but they've also planted churches. I mean, I, I think that's how it works. But there's 
there's a lot of really good uh, worship songs, Christian worship songs written by this band called Hillsong. So if you haven't had a moment to check them out, if you've never heard of them, I highly recommend. It's basically a must to anyone who's a follower of Jesus to go and check out their music and just go listen to a few songs. Like, check out Oceans. Oceans is a great song to listen to. Oceans by Hillsong. Check out that song. But we are pretty adamant about going to check out a church which I land on Sunday. So when I land, it'll be Sunday morning, which is, at, which is 925 Sydney time. And we have pretty much picked the church that we want to go to. Now we just have to figure out what time we want to get there because they have church services all throughout the day, like up until 6 p.m. So yeah, there's like five or six Hillsong, Hillsong churches in the area, in like the greater Sydney area, if you will. And we've narrowed it down to two, but we're pretty sure which one that we want to go to. And it's just a matter of um, just confirming the time at this point. That's all we need to know is like, what time do you want to go to that service? So Kyle and I are probably going to end up meeting at the church, but that's tentative. I don't, we don't know exactly because like he, does, he doesn't have a hostel yet or an Airbnb or anywhere really to stay. And he, and today when I talked to him after work, he said, you know, I was actually thinking about maybe just sleeping at the airport. And I was like, well... I mean, you could do it, but that's like a whole day, right? Like gone, right? But we're just, we, before we, before I left his presence today and I left him to his own devices, um, we decided to pray. We prayed together. Um, and I'm really looking forward to this trip with Kyle. And also, like I said earlier, like what God's going to do on this trip for, for both of us and, and how we can serve God uh, on this trip as well. So guys, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, hope you guys like the money suit. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I like it. I bought it in like 2014 and it served me pretty much every year for every Halloween party or whatever that like I've gone to. Thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you guys. Peace out. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Peace.